Yo, week five of our clean program is super easy. In fact, it's like the easiest week that we've done, but only, but only if you guys have watched week four. This will be short and sweet. We're taking out the pauses that we did in week four and changing it up to a tempo clean. Instead of doing what we did in week four, which was pause here, pause here, clean, we're gonna just smooth that guy out, butter it up and smooth it all out. Sounds delicious to me. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three. Whether you move to a power or a squat is up to you. Remember, I'm gonna attach some, oh wait. This week, I'm not giving you the repeat mobility. I'm gonna give you guys some accessory work to help you improve your front squat. So maybe you choose to work on some power cleans just for technique, or if you wanna add in the squat, totally up to you. We're gonna take three seconds to go from the ground and get that bar all the way up to the high hang position at the top of your legs where it needs to go. So many times I see athletes just rushing and the bar either leaves like way down here on their quads or they're swinging that bar out and around. It's just not making sense. We got to get that full big patient push up to the high hang position. And what do we do after that, folks? What do we do? We jump as hard as we can. We use these big muscles in my legs to jump and explode and move that big heavy bar. Smooth it out. Take three seconds. You're still thinking about Push the ground away. Peel those shoulders back. Big jump. There's just gonna be no pauses. Keep it light. Keep it strong off the ground. Keep pushing, keep getting my knees back. Keep getting those shoulders back to vertical. So when I jump straight up, the bar follows me going straight up. Just do about five sets of two to three tempo power cleans, taking three seconds to get to mid shin up to the high hang position. Some other notes just to take away with you. Make sure you're pressing that bar in super tight to your legs. That means those lats are engaged. Keep your eyes over the horizon the whole time, straight in front of you. That head doesn't need to go anywhere. Some good old tempo cleans. Have fun with them. Come week six, we're going on to the regular tempo and really not gonna look that much different. So really get to work on this week and then we'll be ready to wrap this thing up next week. It's been a fun journey. We are crushing it. I'm so glad it's helping a lot of you guys out there. Really makes me happy to hear some of you guys just improving and being able to break it down with me and simplify something that looks a little bit crazy. But guys, don't keep the bar close. That's all it is. It don't have to be that hard. Stick around for your strength accessory. Coach. How do I not get into this slumpy or let my back round in this front rack position or got a case of the butt wings, which means when I get to the bottom of my squat, my butt is tucking under. There can be a number of things. A big culprit of that is going to be your front rack mobility. These lats are a big deal. If you guys have been around since week one, hopefully you've been working on that front rack stretch. I, I swear by that one. It's improved my front rack position, which in turn helps me keep my chest tall, which in turn helps me keep my midline super tight, and I don't get the collapsy midline or the ugly little butt wink at the bottom. So, switching it up from mobility and putting that mobility into action, I got a lovely looking soft box right here. It's flipped up on 30 inches. I do have a plate behind me that some of you guys might need. So if you have lack of ankle mobility, you're gonna need a 15 pound plate on the ground. What we're gonna do is accessorize with some tempo air squats with a tactile cue of this box right here. I don't wanna touch this. Just like I would with a bar, elbows in front, thumbs on top of shoulders. I'm gonna step in front of this box and do some tempo front squats that are really, really slow. And I'm focused on as low as I can go with my elbows staying away from that box, as low as I can go. Oh my gosh, I'm short right here. It's getting really hard. And stand. Back down. Oh my God, this is so hard. Why are my elbows dropping? Oh my gosh. Keep them up, keep them up. And stand. It's very dramatic. It's if you guys have that lack of ankle mobility, you can also use this plate to elevate your heels and do the exact same thing, keeping those elbows super, super tall. That it should help you with your posture as you get to the bottom of that squat. What you will feel is this whole backside of your shoulders gets lit up. Mobility is great, stretching is great. It will get you so far along your fitness journey. 
But if you don't put that into action after and strengthen up all those little muscles, fix your posture, get more stability through all those little muscles, it's not gonna do you much good. So we gotta stretch and strengthen. That's why we mobilize first. Now we're putting it into action. I would say do three sets of five of these tempo squats with a target right in front of you to keep those elbows super tall. That should get you on your way to receiving that bar in a good strong position, whether it's power or especially the famous bottom of the squat so we don't get all slumpy. We're gonna work to keep that tall posture and those elbows up. Get to that, guys. I'll see you guys for one more week of our cleans. We doing good. We doing good. Peace out.